Hey there guys, it sure has been a long time, hasn't it? My life has gotten insane over the past month and specifically over the past like week and a half because I moved. You can see that here. And while that is terribly stressful in and of its own right, we're also having work done to our new condo. And so the condo's a mess and there's so much coordinating going on and things don't work out the way they're supposed to when you're working with contractors like ever. And yeah, so I'm filming up here because uh, where I'll probably film most of the videos is downstairs, but it's a mess with boxes still because we can't put things where they need to go or we have put things where they needed to go and then had to take them out. And it has been a nightmare. Anyways, past that, I also went back to Ohio for the weekend this past weekend. It was my birthday on Saturday. I drove up to Ohio on Thursday after work, went to a concert on Friday, got rained on a whole bunch. MGMT, the biggest band that was playing that night and the band that I most wanted to see canceled because of the rain. And then I woke up at 9 a.m. the next day and drove back to North Carolina um, because I don't know, I'm a crazy person. But the concert was really good. It was Bellwether Music Festival. If you don't know it, they're probably gonna do it again next year. Um, there was a band there called Whitney that I absolutely fell in love with. Dr. Dog, local natives, a local band from Cincinnati called Dog Yup, and yes, just a lot of really good music. I went with my father and a few of the people that I went to Bonnaroo with, and it was a blast, but very stressful and also 16 hours of driving in total to spend one day in Ohio, which when I say that out loud, I do realize how crazy that sounds. But I hit a big birthday on Saturday. I turned 30 and a lot of people feel a lot of ways about turning those big birthdays, 30 or 40 or even 20. And when I was really young, I definitely thought when I turned 30, I'd be really sad. But I'm actually pretty stoked about it. I'm in a better place now than I was five years ago at 25. And two years ago at this exact moment, I was about to graduate from the Iron Yard, which is crazy to think about. And I was about to have my first job, which is also crazy to think about. Um, like in the web development scene and that's the message that I kind of want to get out there today and talk about some of the stuff that I learned while I was at the iron yard when it comes to age and programming and yeah so I was 27 when I started the iron yard and I turned 28 the week after I graduated I'm pretty sure the dates are a little screwy in my head but I'm pretty sure it was the week after I graduated I turned 28 and I've been doing this for almost two years now now 28 is still relatively young, depending upon what your lens is. If you're 50, you think 28 is super young. If you're 20, you probably think 28 is super old. And it's probably considered by a lot of people like a kind of late start in a career like programming. When most people think about web development or software development, they think of young kids, uh, like 20, 21, 22 year old, like boy geniuses hacking away at computers and things like that. And to be fair, that's not really representative of the whole. Does the demographic skew younger? Yes, it's a newer industry. That's totally like how it's going to play out. But that doesn't mean that you need to be in your early 20s to be successful in this career. To really put a cherry on that, when I was at the Iron Yard, I was in a class of 10 people. Two of the people, no, three of the people in my class were definitely over the age of 40 and they went through the entire Iron Yard program and I have kept up with two of them vaguely through social media and I know they're both working in the field right now. So they started their career in software development well past their 40 it's birthday like that's a big jump from where i am at 30 and if you are thinking about getting into this i get a lot of messages and i've talked about this in different points in different videos and in different live streams but uh, i get people asking hey i'm 33 am i too old for this hey i'm 30 hey i'm 29 hey i'm 45 hey i'm 50 am i too old to get into programming and the answer is no it, you actually have a lot of other skills that help you sell yourself as a self-taught or boot camp grad developer that somebody fresh out of college just isn't going to have. If you've kept a job for 20 years because you got a job when you were 16 and you're now 36, 
you know you can do that and you can be responsible for something. It may not be this like particular code base, but there are skills that you've picked up along the way, even if they seem absolutely unrelated, like sales or food and beverage or accounting or anything, like anything. There are skills that are cross vertical, like skills when it comes to careers, but you have to know how to code. That's important. And all of the other skills are sugar on top. It doesn't matter for like 90% of places if you have a degree or if you don't have a degree, or if you went to a boot camp or you didn't go to a boot camp, if you have the skills and you can prove it, that's what matters. Your age doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to put a big caveat here. One, some places want you to have a college degree and it's a little checkbox that either sends your digital resume to the trash or not. And that's just a fact of life. Most places wouldn't actually care. It may be an HR thing, it may be a corporate thing, I don't know. Most places actually wouldn't care if you're a dope programmer and you don't have a degree. They'd take your skills if you had a way to get in touch with them. And then the other caveat is your age won't affect you in the big picture, but there is a possibility that you may not get a job at one very specific place because you're not a culture fit if you're too old. And that's just a fact of life that can happen in really any career. It's definitely not going to be normal to be walking into a junior developer like interview and be over the age of 23, 24, 25, really. I think most people probably expect that. But if these people have reviewed your resume and they see that you have a 10 year long work history, they're obviously gonna know you're not a kid fresh out of school, right? So you may get passed up. That's just a fact of life. I wanna be real when I talk on this channel, there is probably a company out there or two or three, and they may look at your resume and they see that you graduated high school in 1998 or something and throw your resume away and go, nope, grandpa ain't welcome here. And that's fine. To be honest, you don't wanna work for those tools anyway, probably. But don't let it discourage you. It, this grind is real and there are plenty of other things that can be road bumps along the way. Don't stop before you start because you think you're too old because I promise you you're not it's totally normal to go to like law school after working at, in not law for like 10 years it's totally fine to get into programming late as well so yeah I'm 30 now I'm old in my mind or at least my 16 year old self's mind god what I thought about 30 when I was 16 man I yeah, I'm so happy that I'm not the 30 year old that I thought I would be when I was 16. Anyways guys, I've got a date with Murder She Wrote and some Werther's Originals and I need to go get to that. So I will talk to you guys very soon. This is all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you haven't already hit that like button, if you haven't hit subscribe, please do that to follow along in my journey. And I already said I hope you have a wonderful day, but I really, really do. I will see you again soon. Bye.